I just like to, like I said earlier, just give credits to Sobait. His name is spelled like this. So if you want to check him out online, that's how his name is spelled. So give some credits to him because this is from his uh, base. Uh, oh fuck's sake, I thought I wasn't recording for a second, I was going to kill myself. Yeah, so this is from his base, and he released some really good source code for this, and uh, the world screen function is the only thing that we're taking from him, and that's a really good piece of code, basically. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so let's get those addressed. So I'm going to start up Counter-Strike. So put the template to the side for a second, because we don't we won't need it just now. Um, load up cheat engine okay and now this step these few steps I want to make quite quick guys and I apologize for that but this is something that you have to learn through reverse engineering and I, I would have to cover some stuff that I haven't covered before so we will do this uh, through cheat engine which isn't generally the best way to find something like this unless you have some knowledge of previous versions of the game but <clears throat> unfortunately it is what we'll have to cover so this is the skipping certain steps I was telling you guys about earlier the, unfortunately it's something I have to do and I apologize for that and I will cover everything to do with an ESP with my uh, upcoming tutorial where I'll go over absolutely everything that I can but that won't be for a while so for now this is for those of you that want to get this to work on Counter-Strike and um, learn how an ESP works in the process so um, we want to start off by well, starting a game usually helps. So go to CPU player options and make sure you have bots join team counter terrorists and uh, start the game. That's just so that we have unlimited game time. Uh, so we're going to go here. Okay, that. Count you join counter terrorist forces as well. Make sure you do that so you have that unlimited time. Uh, don't worry about your enemy. Let him run around like an idiot. We don't care. So first things we want to do. Um, <laughs> just going to go over my notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what we're going to do is find out the view matrix. Now, this is a view matrix projection, and that's the way our game stores information regarding uh, how the map is displayed. So, what we're going to use here, what we're going to do is find that, find the view matrix, and we're going to use that to pass to our world to screen function later on. And without this, that that's the problem with uh, world to screens is that many games will have different ways of doing it. So this is the way to do for for Counter Strike and probably quite a few of the Valve Source Engine games. Um, so we're going to find out the view matrix and let's get on with that now. Then, so if you do any research on Counter Strike or you go over the um, the um, Counter Strike SDK, you'll know how this works. But this is why I. I said I, I would skip some steps because you'd have to cover this and you'd have to go over all the information. So normally you'd have to reverse engineer engine.dll with Ollie, debug or probably IDA Pro and that's how you'd find all this information. Now we don't really have that much time for that so we will skip certain steps um, and we'll you do, we will do this because we already know more or less how the view matrix begins. So. Um, I'm going to show you how to find this. So we start off by searching for a float value. So float and changes to rounded default by default. And we want to search for an unknown initial value. So boom. So that's that. Just a quick check here. We're going to scan for a float and unknown initial value. Get 58 million results. Fine. Uh, move your mouse around a little bit. So don't worry about. So move around. Make sure it's different and look for change value. So as you can see, this is a stupid, long-ass process. So look for unchanged value because we haven't moved the mouse around. Do a billion scans, and that's fine. Sorry about all the ding dings from that. So look for change value again. Move your mouse around. Sorry, I'm right-clicking into the game. That's why it's doing the weapon thing. Uh, move move yourself again in game so as you, as you can see we've got 400,000 results change value again now one thing that you do is look for unchanged value alt tab into the game make sure your mouse doesn't move at all so I'm going to alt tab into the game I'm in the game moving around a little bit so as you can see moving around and alt tab back into thingy and look for unchanged value that should cut off quite a few results as you can see we cut them by half um, I'm just keeping an eye on my notes here uh, Yes, yeah, so um, keep doing this. Uh, 
Oh shit, where the fuck is there it is. So go back to, to Counter Strike, look for change value again, boom. Uh move move the mouse around a couple of times, change value. I recommend you have hotkeys for this because it'll make your life easier. I haven't enabled any, but that's fine. So move that up, blah blah. Like I said, this is incredibly boring, so move around. Next value. As you can see we start going down by less, which is BS. So unchanged value, all tab into the game, move around. Boom, all tab back, unchanged value. We reduce by quite a few. Um, we can go search for value between and if you know anything about the view matrix you'll know that it's generally between uh, I'm gonna do minus 1.0 and 1.0 and we do next scan and reduce that by 30,000 we come more scans here and look for unchanged value again so the trick is just to find the very low float value here that will lead to our view matrix and once we've got that we can find the anti-flick value which I'll explain what that's for um, and then that will be straightforward uh, okay so move back to the game move this around look for changed Unchanged. This is incredibly boring doing this, but it's kind of what we have to do. When we, when we get down close to it, then we will, you know, change value. So what I'll do is I'll go near here, look for changed. Police nearby apparently, probably after me. All right, so look for changed. Unchanged. Alt tab into the game. Move around for quite a bit. Na -na -na. Look for unchanged value, this should cut us down by quite a bit, down to 5,000, great. Back into the game, do the same again. Make sure your mouse doesn't move at all. <sighs> changed value, so move around your mouse. So remember, we're not looking for view angles, we're looking for the view projection matrix, uh, which is different to that. Although they, I would say they're close in memory, uh, but it, it will depend on the game, obviously. So look for change value. Fuck's sake, 4,000. Need to cut this down to quite a bit. Um, so the value is there. So if I move around quite a bit, change value. Uh, that should be unchanged value. They're coming down slowly. So go look for change value. Um, so like I said, this is generally best found through. Um, through Ollie Debug on on um, by reverse engineering the actual game and not just searching for this. So that's definitely something you'll have to do when you want an ESP in your own games. But uh, for this one, we will skip some of that. Um, so unchanged value, fine. Down 645. We're nearly there, guys. And do, 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 move around a little bit more. Maybe unchanged value again. There you go. So we're going to move the mouse now, look for change value. Back to that, change value, blah blah. Alright, 515. And look down, change value, wait a second, look for unchanged. So it's barely going down now, so we want to all tap into the game, move around quite a bit. Back to unchanged, hopefully that should cut some, and that's cut very few. Now, um, what we'd have to do is keep doing this, and it would take some more time, and we'd have to keep searching this for quite a while. Now, we, we're down to quite a few results. I want to. 400 is generally not too bad. So, we want to look through these. Now, a way of figuring this out is we're, we're looking for something between. Um, between minus one and zero, I guess we can look for that again. Value between, between what the fuck? What the hell happened? Where's the other column? Oh, I guess it's bloody cheat engine, crappy display. It only shows the and for some reason. Value between, what's wrong with that? Seems like I screwed up the, the way it displays. Oh well, that's fucking strange. Alright, so ignore the value between, just do between minus 1 and 1 and you'll get a lot less results. So, what I'll do is I'll go straight to the result because I know there's quite a few here and you can test for quite a while. And if you do know where most of the things are located, you should be able to find it. So if I look for it, um, mm -hmm, 
should be under 5-2 if I look for this just sorry I'm just checking out my notes here quickly because I've got it written down and that should 5-8 so 5-2 we're looking for 5-2 five, 5-2 two. Five, two, D5 5-2 D5 hopefully that's in our results here 5-2 D5 if we didn't screw anything up C4 5-C C4 there it is so this is it this is the result we're looking for ultimately okay uh, and as you can see it's a static address which is great so another way to to get more into this and really make sure you're in the right address now the fact that it says engine dll plus this address gives me a hint that straight away it's likely to be what we're looking for but if we want to go uh, press um, find uh, not find uh, browse this memory region tools dissect data structure and define data structure now if you know just say yes to everything and if you know how the um, uh, view matrix works you'll know that there's a lot of floats within it so it's about 16 uh, bytes worth of floats I believe if I'm right I could be wrong I'll have to check out my notes but it's about 16 bytes worth of floats and as you can see there's quite a few here and they keep going down which is brilliant which is what we're looking for so uh, get that offset so close that close both of those <clears throat> like I said, every game will be different, so this is just a way of getting it for Counter-Strike. So um, what you'd have to do is you look through all these and you'd find out that most of them don't have any floats near them, and you, that's how you'd find out. So, um, But if you use the method that I said of between 1 and uh, minus 1 and 1, you'd get a lot less results. So let's go through that address, and if you're using the latest version of Counter-Strike, you can just copy this address down, which is fine. So it's engine DLL plus this value. So if you go into the game, you might as well put it straight into our solution. Uh, CSS tutorial template. Yep. So I'm going to go into here, and this will be our value that we use to <clears throat> to grab our view uh, matrix. So I'm just going to put this here, and this is something we'll read from memory. So it'll be engine dll plus that value. And again, I'm really sorry that I don't show you, I didn't show you the the reverse engineering components of it. But the problem with that is it'll be covering quite a few things that I haven't taught you guys before, and some of that stuff I'm not really that comfortable with myself. So unfortunately, I can't show you that. Uh, maybe there's an easier way to grab these these uh, values, but this is the main way that I know without having to go and reversing through everything. So. Um, Hopefully that will work for you guys. So scan through quite a few values and you should have a value quite similar to this. Um, and we have that. And now another thing that if you if you go over the values in Oli, you'll find out that if you go minus 2, um, minus, sorry, what's the value? Minus 1. I'm just going to go over my notes quickly. I'd say it's 1A4. Now, <clears throat> if I explain to you this quickly first, how the uh, the SP works, the way we uh, the way we um, the way we draw this stuff on screen, right? We need to pass the view matrix, the view project matrix, as well as. So if I just get my code here up, move that to the side. Yeah, the way we do it is we pass. In order to do world to screen, so we convert the 3D coordinates to world coordinates. That's why we need the view matrix, which is incredibly um, important, and it's pretty much the core of this whole tutorial. Um, this allows us to see the world sc world to screen matrix, and we pass that to world to screen, and then it returns us the coordinates in 2D. So it tells us if a player is, I don't know, um, where that barrel is. Um, it converts the 3D coordinates, so the three points, and it gives us on our XY screen where that is pointed so it would say on our crosses for example that's how we'd find out now counter strike has got a very strange thing that I haven't seen on many other games is once you've got the the ESP in place and if you're using the world screen matrix the view matrix um, it will flicker because the value seems to change okay so one thing that I, I don't know how to figure this out, but I, I had to go online to get some help for it, is that there's a variable that if the variable set to zero, you should be you should be grabbing the, the view project matrix. If it's not set to zero, then you shouldn't grab it. Now what that does is it allows us to stop flickering. 
uh, with our ESP. So once once we start drawing, if you saw my my code earlier, you see that it didn't do any flickering. Uh, and what that will do is it will only grab the view project matrix when it's the value that we want. So if this is, I'm sorry, I'm not giving you the best explanation here, but 